We are live. Good evening, everybody, wherever you are. Thank you for joining us on another Suarez live stream. The unpredictable is about to get predictable. We have no idea what's going to happen. Spoiler alert, I actually do. If you guys don't, I guess we're going to find out in a few minutes, aren't we? If you're watching this live, thank you for being here. If you're watching this on catch-up, oh my goodness me, you should see how awesome this turned out. Ha 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 ha! All right, we're going to run some credits. See you back in 30 seconds. And we're back in the room hello 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 everybody how are you doing i hope you're keeping well now we'd just like to welcome everybody on instagram what's up everyone thank you for joining us if you're just tuning in now hopefully you are well what can i say we've got a very very indulgent evening of painting coming up as you can see which we'll look at on the cameras in just a moment there's a giant piece of canvas just waiting to be attacked right behind me that's what we're going to do in a very very short space of time We'll quickly run through the tech and just make sure everything's working. You know, corner cam is A-OK. -okay. Hit me up with PTZ. Oh, hello. There you are. Camera number two. It's a pan, tilt and zoom. And it also slides. It goes this way. It goes that way. I'm joking. See? Fantastic. you got to love the tech, haven't you? There we go. Down on the canvas nice there we go white out there you are i've painted a snow scene in the middle of alaska i'm i'm that good <laughs> let's do overhead overhead camera bonjour no <laughs> very nice to see you all uh right so overhead cam this has got the entirety of the canvas within range of shot which we love uh i've actually pre-base coated this on monday came in cut a sheet of canvas and it's got a base coat on it which is probably why it looks a little bit shiny because it's got gloss white all over it which it actually takes a surprising amount of, uh, a volume of paint to put on just for a base coat most of which you're not going to see anyway that's that done and my friend and yours Rome cam now this time Rome cam is right in the center of the painting hello uh so we'll go for a Rome on Rome cam did i just put my knee on that Okay, right. Yes, I did. Of course I did. <laughs> there you go. It's got my knee print on it. There you go. How unique is that? Right, let's go for a, a roam on the roam can. So in step, we're going to move you guys all around a bit in a little while. In fact, let's move you over here. We've got tripods everywhere. I'm trying very hard not to ruin everything. There you go. Insta. We'll just pop you over there because we want you to see the paint bench. Uh, <clears throat> so lots of things going on. Uh, we've got colours tonight. Uh, in fact... What can I point out? We've got gold. Oh, yeah. We've got the Queen's gold. We've got uh, black from a different manufacturer this time. We've got some copper. Mm, copper, lovely. And we've got some silver. These three are metallics. Looking forward to using those. And ourselves a little drop of uh, thinners if we need it. We do actually have a brand new delivery today of some metallics. These are very, very special metallics. That's the first time I think we've had six out of the eight. I think we've had that one, that one before. We're probably going to use those next week. I can't be entirely sure. We might, we might not. You'll have to tune in to find out. We'll be very excited by those. But tonight, folks, for your amazement, I shall be creating and conjuring in front of your very eyes a very indulgent painting because I'm doing my favourite colours, which is monochrome. We've got a black, white and gold week. Technically speaking, gold isn't, but we've got to have gold on our monochromes, haven't we? Of course we have. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to be doing, folks. Now, Aid is just going to switch the flicker off on the camera. Uh, so that we don't get that flickering, which you can just see behind you. Right, okay, so Instagram, let's move. That's better, now we haven't got a flicker. Let's move you guys over here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Let's pop that over there, because I want you to see what's going on on the bench and also so that you can see thank you mate uh what's going to happen 
on the canvas as we go along. We'll be doing lots of shout outs, as many as we possibly can throughout the course. Oh, excuse me, can I glove back? Thank you. <clears throat> as the course of the uh, painting goes on. But I am being very, very selfish and I'm, I'm doing something that I really want to do tonight and I don't care what happens. So I'm getting very, very flowy. I'm getting very, very free and easy. I'm going to be doing some giant things on here. You'll be amazed at what happens with black, white, gold and silver. Hopefully I'm going to give you a real spectacle to look at. AD is out in control as always, pressing all the buttons and making the broadcast come alive for you. So make sure we give AD plenty of love and some shout outs. We'll be doing lots of those, by the way, as we go on. But for now, I just want to get some paint onto the canvas. And I'm looking at these black cups very interestingly. Now, <laughs> I had a brief conversation with, with AD just before we came on air. But actually, in fact, let's see. Could, could you do it? If I stand static, mate, can you just a little zoom? Let's see if we can show everybody what I'm about to mention. So I'm going to try and remain fairly close. Insta, I hope you can probably see what I'm doing. So this feels quite loose. It's quite liquid, straight out of the can. I did get to the bottom of the can, mate, yes. Um, so there's no sediment on the, on the bottom of the can, but it's quite loose. And I'm right at that crossroads as to if I launch this, is it going to go far enough or do I need to thin it down? And it's a toughie, man. It's a real toughie. If I launch it and it isn't right, it's going to look spectacularly bad. So, uh, <laughs> really, really quite torn. Uh, I think I should probably just go for it. But I'm still now, now I'm doing this, tempted to just put a drop of thinners in. Let's put a drop of thinners in. I can't afford for it to go wrong. Okay, that's answered my own question. Right, drop of thinners. We're just going to pop that in and give it a quick whiz round. When I mean whiz, I mean a skadoosh. That's the byword, isn't it? Let's not go in front of the camera. Let's just give a little, little drop of thinners in each. It's not scientifically measured. Nothing ever is. It's kind of, oh, that feels right. And we're going to launch it. Now, this has got to go quite a way across the canvas. This is going to be interesting now to see if I can actually do what I want to do. Ah, building the pressure already. But we are going to do some splashes. We're going to do some nice swoops and curves. When the copper goes on, oh my goodness me, you just wait and see. This thing is literally just going to change right in front of your very eyes. So we'll get the thinners gently mixed in. The already quite thin black. So thank you, uh, Henry, for your advice about uh, about saying flicker, especially if there's anyone from Holland watching. Is Annette here? Has <laughs> Annette joined us? Annette will know what flicker means. So no offence if uh, it, it, with, even with a different spelling. No, no offence to anyone. Uh, anyway, right, that's quite amusing. Right then, okay. Let's see if we're going to do this and do this how I want. So that's what we're doing. Instead, we've got the first lot of black ready and done. I'm going to move you guys to here because I want you to try and see what's about to happen. Okay, buddy, choose me a camera. Okay, so let me explain what we're doing for the sake of the shot. So where you're seeing this now, I'm going to go from the centre, and I'm going to go off that way. So we're going off to your right-hand side, okay, down on the canvas. But the hope is I'm going to get a nice, big, powerful flash kind of that way. All right? So we'll let AD sort of frame it up. So we're going halfway, mate, from the centre to the, right to the edge. So as long as you can see that half... Yeah, I was nodding at you to say, I understand. Oh, yes. is that the nod? Ah, I that was... understand, <laughs> yes. You look like one of the Daleks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I expected... I thought you were going to do a Dalek impersonation then. It, he might be back with one later. I did for me. Look Exterminate! Exterminate! <laughs> I'm sure there are a few Doctor Who fans <laughs> kicking around. <laughs> I got that not like 90 decibels in my ear. <laughs> I'm, I'm running for my life. <laughs> that was uncannily accurate. Very good, mate. Thank you. Right. Okay. So we are. We're going to go from here. I'm going to try and get it over there. If things don't quite go right and it isn't thick enough, I'm not going to panic because I will be able to add a little bit more to that. But I think, I think it's got to be worth a go now, folks, hasn't it? 
Yikes. Okay, are we ready? Shall we do it, mate? Shall we do it? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Right. First one on. It's about the right amount of paint. Probably hasn't gone as far as I wanted, but that's okay. It's okay. We're going to thin this one down just a little bit. Oh, yeah. I like this. This is all about just letting... I just want to let go, man. You know what I mean? Let's get free and easy, dudes. Let's just go with it and see what happens. We're going to do the same on the other side now. Now, let's just see where it takes us. I mean, that's the important thing, isn't it? Uh, right, buddy. So, we're going to do the same on the other side, I think. So I definitely think I'm going to have to go this side to do it because of the way that I throw. So let's try and get this one up there. So you tell me when you've got the half and the half in. All right. Red, you ready, Insta? Let's see if we can do, do another one this side. So here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. That's a bit better. Nice. Okay. That's it. Done. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm joking. Stay tuned. <laughs> right okay good 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 so let's just have a quick walk around there see what's happening okay right definitely think we've got some mileage with this now tempted actually to put red in it but i am going to stick to the monochromes this evening we did a giant one uh, about 10 years 10 11 years ago now uh it went down to dubai and we called it the 12 pretty sensational uh, piece of work that and uh, I'll have to see if we can queue up a, a, a photo of that before the evening's out. I think I do know where it is on the website, actually. But um, we'll, see, we'll get Aidy to queue that up a little bit later on. Uh, but for now, that's two splashes on. I'm going to do a small splash on the other side because I need to even this up, which is fine. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to add a secondary one. It's going to drop a little bit of thinners in. And we're going to come back to the original side. Get the black on first before we do some shout outs because we need the black to almost cure a little bit. Look at what those lovely shapes look that we've created, those loops. Never seen that before. All right then, buddy. So I'm going to go back to the original one. <clears throat> and we'll go try, I'll try and reach the corner this time. So up to you if you want to do whichever can. Yeah. If you go, um, let me just talk to Eddie a second. Yeah. If you go on to. Uh, <clears throat> You go to uh is it the commissions tab and large large paintings or large art yeah, whatever it is yeah so go to commissions large art or large paintings should be the first one in the menu and scroll all the way down see if it's down there uh no oh okay, okay no Okay, we'll, we'll find it, folks. I've got to try and remember where it is on the site. <laughs> um, okay, let's not worry about that. Right, okay, then, buddy. Um, we'll come back to that. That's fine. I'll, I'll find it somewhere. You got it. There you go. So, hopefully, if it's on the screen now, that's... No, it's not on screen. Oh, right, okay. No, I'm keeping everybody in suspense. Excellent. I'm not going to put it on the screen just yet. <laughs> right, okay. I was just queuing it up, ready. <clears throat> Excellent. Right then, dude. So, let's go back to the original um, splash. We're going to add another one now. See if I can get a little more paint on that side. So, you tell me when you've got a decent shot from half going to the right-hand side. Right, here we go then. Three, two, one. Let's try it again. Three, two, one. Yeah, see, that's better. I like that. Right, we've got that out to one side, which is great. Now, uh, are we done with the black? Yeah, maybe for now, actually. That's kind of got this explosive effect. So we're going to do something probably opposing that, but not entirely sure at this moment. I'm tempted to do the gold, but the gold doesn't flow very well. So I wonder, actually, we might do a drop of silver. So we'll get a drop of this in. Uh, and then we'll definitely do some shout outs because there's lots of people joining in now. Thank you. Remember, if you've got comments, thoughts, opinions, or you've got questions you would like to ask, please fire away. Even if they sound crazy, even if they're complicated, there's no secrets here on the live stream. 
we will be very happy to answer, within reason, most things that you ask. Uh, so if there's something bugging you, we've got a question about the process, techniques, how we do it, conduct ourselves, what we do with the business, please, please fire away. I know we have lots of creatives tuning in and watching the stream. It's a massive pleasure to have you guys here as well. So if there's something you want an answer to, or just plain curious, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. Do get involved. Come and say hello. Now, just going to get the silver mixed. Try and keep still. Because I know you're watching this from above over on YouTube. Now remember those of you watching on Instagram, my wonderful friends, you can go and watch the full four camera high definition experience over on YouTube. Just click the link in my bio in the very top entry. There's live painting and right now. You can watch it full high definition brilliance. And consequently, if you are lucky enough to watch it on a big widescreen TV as well, please do let us know what it looks like. I'd imagine that looks pretty awesome. So let's move you guys over here. Uh, now, thank you to those of you, uh, Les Knight, amongst others, over on Insta, who are asking to, to join the video. The only reason I don't <clears throat> let people join in the video on the screen is because I've got a tiny little iPhone. And when your video, your image, your face comes up, it shrinks the screen down to so, so small I can't even read it. <laughs> so don't take offence. <laughs> right, guys, need to change the gloves? Who have we got in the house? All right. Let's go from let's go from top to bottom. Oh yeah, who was first in the house? Bacco artist. Hey guys, hey Bacco, great to see you here. Gidget's Gidget's here, or has Gidget gone to bed? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Gidget went to bed. He's watching on replay. Uh, excellent. Hi Gidget on replay. There you go. Managed to do that. Uh, Lynn Sutherland. Uh, the wait is no longer. You're with us. Fantastic. Zane. Hope you're keeping well in. Uh, New Zealand, those uh, guys down there have been having some awful storms, the tropical cyclone. So we hope that uh, everybody's keeping well down there. Challenging times in the Pacific Basin. As a... Oh, Nelson. Hola, Nelson. Great to see you. Cult of Gaming. I haven't seen you for a while. Hello, hello, hello. A Time for Art. Hello, Ed and Aidy. Back with it. Hello, Geraldine. And Eleanor is also here in the Rita from New York. Lucia and Denise and Tomiko and Henry. Uh, great to see you guys here as well. Funny Foxes, hello to the Suarezian crew. And Joseph Spann from Icebound, Tennessee. Wow, you've got ice. Crazy. Cynthia, hello Cynthia. Thank you for all your uh, comments on YouTube this week. Jeffrey's here with the Oak Park Art League. And we've got Sandy uh, Srebath. Hello from South Africa. Love your art pieces. Well, it's great to have you here, Sandy. Welcome. And uh, what have we got? We've also got a Lavinia Morales. What a beautiful name. <laughs> uh, watching from Houston, Texas. Howdy, y'all. Great to see you. Uh, right. We've also got, moving down the list, Alan Hillier. Good evening, all. Bob Keller was late. Don't worry, Bob. We're all friends here. You're okay. Elaine Hewlett. Hi, all. Hi, Elaine. Uh, what else have we got? Say hello to Tamiko. I think we did. Princess Script says hello as well. Uh, Dale. Hello, Dale. He's frozen in Dallas, Texas. Sorry I'm late. That's okay. We accept your apologies, Dale. Mark Newton, Alicia Kidd have also joined us. Hey, guys. Good to see you here. As is Jackie Bouvet, uh, Zaki Assetti from Algiers. I think you could be our first uh, ever visitor from Algiers to get on the chat. A warm welcome to you. Nancy says hello from frozen North Texas. You guys are having a tough time in Texas. And Sly Romo is also frozen in Dallas. we got a big Texas following, haven't we? Well, it's great to see you guys here. So Mark Newt asking a question, uh, saying, I take it the paint you use is like car paint. Oh, no, 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 Mark. <laughs> These are quite substantially different to car paint. Uh, although I might add, uh, which camera are we on, buddy? OK, uh, actually, interesting point. In the times gone by, there probably was a, a closer match between what we're using now and car paint. But car paint has changed quite fundamentally in the last 25 years. It's so actually the product now, which is a water based product, really doesn't resemble anything like uh, this oil based uh, that we use now but you know historically it's, it's not actually been too far away so very good question to ask Mark but yeah well thankfully anyway I don't know which way or the other these are nothing like what you get in car paints these days uh, Pascal bonjour bonsoir uh, uh, fantastic big thumbs up yes big thumbs up from everybody we've got lots of people watching 70 of you watching now and only 28 thumbs up so give us a nice big thumbs up wherever you are that would be amazing thank you so much guys
Uh, so, Princess asking a re really good question. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, buddy. Let's go overhead, yeah? Yeah, and then I think I'm going to go try and go that way. No, this way with the splash towards me off this side, all right? So I'm going to go up to your top right-hand side as you look at it. Uh, yeah, Princess, it's, uh, it, is, it is tough out there. I mean, advice as an artist. Uh, I'm not suggesting you, you specifically go and watch everything on the YouTube channel, but we do actually have a lot of videos which are designed uh, to give artists who are just starting out um, some advice from people who have actually been there and done that, okay? Every day is always a challenge. There are always new things to be done. And really, there aren't that many, if you like, magic <laughs> magic bullets to, to be had here. It's persistence and discipline and desire. If, as long as you can fulfill those, uh, the rest of it you can figure out. So practice your craft, get good at what you do, decide who it is you're going to uh, uh, approach or who your market is or the types of people you think might be buying your work. Uh, and, and and be absolutely, completely and utterly consistent every single day with what you're doing. And, and you'll be surprised how much momentum you can build up from there. But I do suggest you go and watch all the vids, okay? So genuinely, genuinely, it will help you. Okay, right, let's see if we can get the silver on. So we're going to oppose this now, folks. We're going to try and go this way, and then we're going to start and build all the loops around, all right? So we're still keeping in our nice monochrome theme, even though I just like it as it is. Obviously, it'll be a short broadcast. So let's see what I can do with this silver over here. It'll be quite, quite tricky. Do I splash? Do I use some loops? Ooh. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't splash it. Let's have a think. Which way am I going to go? Am I going to loop it? Maybe, maybe some loops, actually. Yeah, let's, let's try that. Right, here we go. Three, two. No, I'm going to splash it. Two. Nice. Yeah, digging that. That's cool. Now, we're probably going to do the same on the other side now. We'll link it all together in a little while. So let me go this side, buddy, and probably PTZ now. We'll do this. Yeah, I know you're already there. Let's, um, let's try that then on the other side. So we're filling up all the outsides, and then we're going to start and uh, maneuver all this together and try and bring all those elements into one. Let's try that again. I'm trying not to get myself covered. I'm always scrubbing my knees. <laughs> it's no wonder, is it? Seems like I'm swimming in it all the time. Right, okay. Uh... So that one's kind of tailing off. I'm just talking to myself now, so that needs to go kind of, kind of there. Right, okay, let's see how this pans out. Oh, got most of it on the floor. Yeah, I like that. Digging that. Ah, great question from Bob. Uh, have you ever mixed silicon oil in your paints to create different cell effects? Well, I've got news for you, Bob. It doesn't work. <laughs> oh, Chantal and Asa, hi. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it doesn't work. Uh, owing to the nature of what's already in these paints, the silicon oil literally just sits on the top. I mean, it does nothing. It doesn't penetrate the surface. That's how tough and quite severe these are. But we have a range of chemicals that will work with them, which we've isolated and specifically have made or uh, and supplied to us that only work with the paints. So I'm not being funny. If I ever did reveal what was in the special source... It wouldn't be a lot of use to anybody because they, it only works with these, if that makes sense. But great question. Thank you, Bob. Uh, right. John B. Martinez. Hello. We are staying warm. Yeah, we got the fan eaters on. Um, Nancy S. Nice. Haven't left mine in a couple of days. Plumbing nearly frozen. No. We're sad to hear your plumbing's nearly frozen, Nancy. That's not good. Hi, Nancy. It's Adrian. Um, I know it sounds counterintuitive, but if you can keep your water running because running water doesn't freeze here in the uk in what we call the static caravans which have air running underneath them when it gets really cold what they do is they run the tap so that it doesn't freeze um it works but it's as long as you can get the waste going away and normally you can because uh when it goes down to the sewers it's reasonably warm down there but it's a constant running water won't freeze if that helps Probably not, but I just thought I'd let you know. Now, there you go. Now, I bet you didn't think you were going to get practical plumbing tips uh, on your live stream this evening. Thank you, AD. AD's had 25, 30 years as a professional plumber, so he knows what he's talking about. Trust me. So there's your advice for nothing. And he won't be sending you an invoice for that, Nancy. <laughs> you can have that for free. <laughs> oh, dear. Wonderful. Who else? Katja from Germany. Good, good Abend. Good Tag. That's good afternoon, isn't it? Um, so uh, welcome. Yes, obviously, my, uh, <clears throat> my German isn't very good. Right, folks, let's have a quick recap. 
if you've just joined us, it's all starting to get sort of brought together now. We're having a little bit of fun with the monochromes. Up next, and my favourite treacly substance, which is copper. Let's see if we can wind some nice shapes into this. They're going to help keep some structure to the painting. So now, now we've had our wildness and our fun creating all the explosive effects. I want to try and style this and pull this together, uh, if you like. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm just thinking carefully as we're talking where, where the loops are going to go. Yeah, I've got to try and find this kind of lyrical fluid motion. Uh, so that's, I think, what we're going to try next. Might be a question of me getting down. I'm, I'm, I've do, not done the leg day in the gym, so I can get down. Look, <laughs> let's, um, as long as I don't split my trousers. If I do that live, live, live on air, that's going to be a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Oh dear, let's not even think about it. Right, okay, we need some loops, man. Let's do some, let's do, should we do some loops, mate? Should we do some loops? Let's do it. Mm. Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just do it! Okay, fabulous. Right, let's, we're, we're going to do one of those on the other side as well, so if you pop on overhead for us, buddy. Now, hopefully, when I do this on the other side, we'll be able to keep these, these rough kind of shapes. Don't mind having this negative space in the centre. This is just all about being expressive with these colours because they are just gorgeous on their own. Just some different techniques I want to use today because that's what I'm feeling in the mood for. So when you're feeling the mood for it, you just got to go for it. What I'd like to try and do is hit the end of this where the silver is. So I'll see if I can come back with a loop through that. It's kind of a little bit of a sort of a finality to it and that's actually i could start there yeah could i start there <sighs> well thank you denise i'm not quite sure i got the moves like jagger i'm sure mick would probably be horrified at my moves but delighted at a painting oh is it yeah i was referring to mick jagger <laughs> but i know that shows how current i am doesn't it don't even know who maroon five is if they're watching, I'm sorry, lads. <laughs> yeah, Jackie loves it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Wonderful. Oh, funny fox, never skip a leg day. Yes, I know, absolutely. Ah, <laughs> oh, bless you. You're all funny. Right, okay, let's have a look at that. Not too bad. We've got some loops. I'm liking the loops. I think we need a few more, actually. We're going to pop the gold in as well. Let me just have a think for a second what I'm doing. Yeah, I tell you what, let's give you let's give you a Rome cam. Let's pick Rome cam up and give you a look. Now, Insta, I'm going to give you a look at those loops in just a second. So you guys sit tight there. We're up on Rome cam. Here we go. My gloves are covered again. The splashes are really starting to take effect. Look, these are the things you don't normally see. So let me see if I can show you what's happening here with the silver. It's all going on. Um, and then we get these fantastic pieces where it all kind of meets together. Let's go and have a look. What happened to <clears throat> this thick, treacly copper? I mean, that is just so outlandish and outrageous. We don't care, do we? There's no mountain ranges here tonight. There's no upturned boats on the on a bay. There's no portraits. This is paint for paint's sake. Beautiful, loving that. We're starting to get this lyrical kind of wave-like back and forward movement. That's what we want. Now, there's paint all over the floor, as you can see. We're not holding back. This is pure indulgence this evening. This is what I wanted to do, and that's exactly what we're doing. Let's just give you a quick look there, Insta, tell you what I'm talking about. Lots of paint on the floor. And we're just looking there at the splashes. We've just put those opposing, really nice loops on. In the copper, happy with that. Let's put you back on your tripod. Oh, and now you're swung around the other way because my tripod doesn't like it. Wow. Okay, you're just pointing at the ceiling, sorry. Right, is that better? Now you're, you're pointing back at the painting. Excellent. Right, we've got our two big sort of uh, empty spaces. We're going to deal with that next. Let's go for gold. Now what's interesting about this is... I've got uh, gold in a can here, so I'm going to get rid of this into a cup. There we go. And we're going to do a couple of light splashes across that centre. So this is where it's all really going to start and get quite interesting now. So let's split that in half. Right, it's about half and half. 
Okay, so overhead. So let's go this side then. I'm going to try and avoid all this on the floor. And I'm going to go through the center. Let's see what happens now. We're still on overhead, yeah? Right, I'm going to try and go then. Actually, no, I'll tell you what will be good. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to go from, from this side then, mate, and I'm going to come up to the middle with a little hoop, hoop all right? I'm going to try and sort of do that, all right? Let's see how I get on with that. All right, here we go. That's one. Right, we'll do the same on the other side. Start to fill up this negative space now. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to see this on the camera, the difference then between the copper and the gold, uh, the different light, the way the light plays with it, but it, it, it's quite extraordinary. So Eddie's going to give you a zoom on that before I do the next one. I'll get myself ready for the next, find out where I'm going to go with it. Everything's opposing at the moment. Don't worry, I'm not going to put any paint on. This is nice. This is nice. We can do, we can do this. I can feel it coming together now. Oh boy. Right, so I'll wait for him to uh, tell me he's got the shot, and then we'll get the next one on. And we'll see if I can replicate that, so I kind of know where my finishing point is. Nice, nice title there, Henry. Yep, coming through in waves. That's uh, a line from Comfortably Numb from Pink Floyd, the greatest band ever. <laughs> Just my opinion. Right, okay, so that's where we need to stop. Let's the stop point is quite crucial. If I get this too unbalanced, it's gonna feel exactly that. So there it is, isn't it? That's my movement. Let's see how close we can get to that. A little bit too, a little bit far off, but that's okay. It's gonna disappear around the frame. So I think what we need to do. Uh, right, so that tin is dealt with, so I think what we'll do, we'll get a slightly thicker version of that. That's an old can with thin down paint. This one is a bit thicker. So I'm going to do that again. And we'll, we'll see if I can uh, replicate that. So what I'm going to do, right, let's do the one on this side then. Try that again. Better. Right, that's better. Now that mirrors the other side. So th in theory now, I need to do the big splosh on the other side. And then we've got two of each, haven't we? So this is fine. This is good. This is this is working out nice. Uh, right, okay. You're on overhead, mate, yeah? Okay. Let's see if I can get that, that big one done as well. It's starting to get slippy on the floor. So that came before it, didn't it? So could, right, okay. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah, very slippy. Look. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Right. It's actually starting to happen now. Things are falling into place. Very nice. Chris Amadahi uh, likes the colours, I think. I think that says I like colour. The colours are perfect in Italian. <laughs> Age is going to translate that. Let's see what you said. Catch uh, My favourite colours. Fantastic. Uh, Grazie mille, Chris. Thank you. Matthew Picklesheimer. Here he is. Look, it wouldn't be the same without him. I had to get trash cans up, walk the corgi chat with me and the grandson a bit about... Oh, chat with me, grandson, a bit about life, sharing wisdom and knowledge. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Hi, Matthew. Uh, very nice to see you. Unlocking paradoxes. Uh, nice to see you here as well. Thank you very much. For oh, being here. Okay, right. Well, so far, so good. We are making some progress here, folks. Now, um, <clears throat> we've got gold, copper, silver. So we haven't got any white strokes on yet. And we haven't got any of the the other black that I was tempted to use. And the question is, is do I use it? Well, I think perhaps we should. So I am going to get my semi-gloss out because this is going to help keep its shape. For those of you that have seen the broadcast before, you may remember that the semi-gloss paint is a thicker variety than the gloss, and that's because there is just physically this gloss medium built into it. 
it tends to hold its shape a little bit better. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try, I'm going to put some black loops on here and there. Just got to be fairly careful on where I put them. Okay, let's just have a think about that for a sec. Okay, you're on PTZ, buddy, yeah? Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do then, bench side, is I'm going to go to your left at the top. So whenever you're ready. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is try and follow the line here and then kind of bring it round. So it's a different kind of black when it comes through the centre. Maybe loop round here and take a loop back again. Let's see. Let's just bring all these dramatic loops to some kind of conclusion. I'm feeling in that kind of mood today. All right. So it's not just to pour on a load of thinners and walk away. We're actually, actually constructing here. So are you okay with that shot? It's difficult. This doesn't want to be up or down. No, it's fine. It's fine. Just see, see if I get on. Just got to try and do that. Yeah, well, that's good. We'll have one on the other side. Good, good, good. Ah, Jason W. What a fantastic question. Uh, how, do you, how do you decide what you create and how often, basically, am I working like this? Well, um, it's got quite a long answer to it, but I'll try and show it for you, Jason. Thank you so much for asking me. Uh, always at least once a week. So no matter what happens, even if we're snowed under with being out with clients, uh, delivering artworks, I'm working on the site, we're doing video editing, uh, we're keeping up with social media, we're physically stretching canvases around their frames, inventing machines, testing new things, uh, keeping the actual building as it should be, and all the other mountain of things. What's great about this, right here, right now, is that every single week, at a certain point in time, everything has to stop and we get creative. And I think having that discipline is incredibly important, certainly is to me. And that stop point right in the middle of the week is what we hinge everything else around because we know we've got that commitment. So forcing me to do this once a week is a very good thing and it's a discipline. So at least once a week is your answer. <laughs> if we're very, very busy with, with commission work, it can be every other day, uh, sometimes weekends. A lot depends on being able to have space in here to manoeuvre things around depending on when I can take them in and out because of the curing process. So it's a logistical nightmare most days of the week, but um, at least once a week, when it's busy, three to four times a week. But the sessions can only be sort of a two hour in the morning and a two hour in the afternoon, because I'm old and my knees are crumbling and it's quite oppressive doing this for hours on end. So I hope that answers your question. Thank you for asking it. I'm gonna come round to Petey's head side now, buddy. So if you can choose another one, we'll see if I can replicate that black loop. Great question, man, thank you. Please, please fire away if you've got more. This one's going to be a little bit more tricky because I think I'm going to have to sort of almost come round round this one here and loop back. So let's see if we can pick that up from over here. No, it's, it's no good. I'm going to have to stand up. Oh, it's a giant lump of, of skin. Let's get rid of that. Oh, and Funny Fox has got to go. Oh, thank you very much. Book reading. Book reading with the little fox. Well, thank you very much, guys. Uh, good night to you all, and thank you very much for joining the stream. Let's see if I can get that round there. Right, here we go. Let's try it. Yeah, like it. Okay, this is good. It's fun. It's exciting. It's big. You know, we're doing, we're doing big art, man. You know, this is what we want to do. It's what I wanted to do this evening, just do some different stuff. We haven't done anything like this for a while. Now, the canvas, as I did say I was going to tell you, and have completely failed to mention it up until now, at the moment measures 320 centimetres wide. That's 120 inches. Is it? Yes, it is 120 inches approximately. And it is 140 wide, which will make a canvas finished at 300 by 120. So 122 centimetres is four foot. Is it? Yeah, it's four feet. So it's uh, it's t it's 10 feet by four feet when it's finished. And that's quite a size. Quite a sizable canvas, approximately. Don't quote me on that. Um, Jason, you're welcome. And uh, what have we got there? Cookie Monster. Hello, Cookie Monster. No, who do I see? Bianca Village. 
Your work is wonderful. Thank you very much, Bianca. That's very kind of you. Uh, right. Hope, hope you're on the mend of time for art. Really do. Thank you for being here, Geraldine. Uh, yeah, Aidy's just zooming in now on some odd lines in the black paint. Now, Insta, let's move you guys over because I want to show you what's going on here. Now, I can explain this. It's an interesting phenomenon. Very simply explained, actually. Uh, it's to do with the evaporation of the solvents in the base coat. So basically, uh, realistically, this should be curing for about a week uh, to avoid this from happening. You can see those the little bits of crazing going on there. Now, once I put paint over the top, the solvents can't escape. And non-escaping solvents tend to go nuts. So what happens is it kind of forces its way through the paint and the two react together and form this little crazing. I don't actually really like. I think it's I think it's absolutely nuts. It's quite insane, to be honest with you. Who wants to just, just to look at a flat canvas with no intrigue on it? So I knew that. I knew that would happen. Uh, quite pleased with it. Um, I think it looks awesome, by the way. So uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a better look with the Rome cam later. Let me just get some white on, because uh, I've got to hit these things as I see them before things go off too much. So I'm just going to grab a little drop of semi-glossy white. Remember what I said with the semi-gloss? It's a thicker paint. Okay? less gloss medium in it so it gives me the ability to be a little bit more controlled and understand that where i'm putting the paint is pretty much how it's going to stay so this is important ah peggy hello peggy um peggy has one of our paintings which is fantastic hello peggy uh usually on instagram love the neutrals well great to have you here peggy thank you very much um, it's very nice. Uh, yeah, Henry, it is a sort of a crackling effect. You are right. Okay, are we on PTZ, buddy? Okay, fantastic. So I think what I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but I think we're going to break the black up. So I think what we'll do, mate, uh, I'll come over to your right, sort of midway point, and I'm probably going to go between the two black uh, gestures there, come through, and maybe just, just try and sort of loop some whites in the centre. Let's, let's see... Oh, I'll get on with that. Now, it's getting quite tricky, guys, to get into the centre, so I don't quite know how I'm going to get on with this, but oh, it, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, so we'll see. Let's see if we can accentuate some of these gold loops. All right, lovely. A little drop more of that, so we'll keep on that camera. And I'll pop myself around this side, and we'll see if we can do it on the opposing side as well. Try and build all this drama up in the centre about things exploding. I can see my line, so I think, yep, yeah, we're going to cross over there, see my line, let's see how close we can get to it. I think I know where my centre point is, let's have a go with that. Right, yep, yeah, digging it. Good, now what that will do, that will start to force some of the paint outwards, so we're actually going to start and change the shape of some of the other things that are going on, so it might not on the outset seem as if we've done very much except make the, the white painting a bit more white but actually as things progress you'll see that that's not the case and this all this comes down to is just really understanding the materials so you know after 13 years you kind of get used to the kinds of things that are going to happen even though you are always quite surprised sometimes right then let's see so i'm, I'm switching now to the shot glasses and just deciding where these are going to go yeah okay so i'm going to start and bring a few i'm going to do some black another couple of black loops in a minute but i want to just bring some white just out here so i think if we're on corner let me go around that way that's fine well i think all i'm going to do is just do, do a few loops on this side through the silver buddy so we're just going to go this side all right and i'm just going to try these are going to be thinner lines now so we're going to kind of start in the middle loop back a couple of times let's see how we get on with that there we go that's nice starting to build a little bit of intrigue now up into the uh, outlying areas we've got this giant swathe of goodness going through the center but i'm not satisfied with that so this is where we now start to build our layers up and it's these little nuances that can make all the difference we're going to do the same on the other side now Oh, 
Matthew Harmonic Detonation. I think we got a name, folks. What a wonderful title. I need to write that down very quickly. <laughs> Thank you very much. What a great name. Uh, buddy, I don't know if you want to do PTZ or whatever, but I'm going to do the same on the silver over on this side. So, uh, up to you. Okay, fantastic. So, we're going to repeat that, seeing as this is very much uh, an evening of, of opposites. Okay, and I'm going to probably give you a look on Rome Cam, because things are starting to shape up now. There are some effects happening here, which are really, really quite extraordinary. Now, unusually, you might be thinking, well, why haven't you gone through the black, Ed? Well, actually, the, there's a lot of canvas to be filled here, and I want to try and keep some of that, the denseness of that black in one place. That's why I've not gone too crazy with that, although I can see where I need to place some black very quickly. And it's surprising, isn't it? Out of what is essentially quite a straightforward painting with just a few colours, just how involved you know this can become and this is all about shapes and movement and of course it doesn't matter if you're just working in one color all about the shapes all about the shapes right mate i think we'll stay actually on pieces in this corner and i've got to decide now where i'm going to loop this to so i think maybe something quite quite large doing that tricky to know tricky to know all right, let's just have a go. <clears throat> right, I think I'm going to come from this side, and we'll loop, we'll loop back a couple of times. Let's see if we can go around this sort of like pole here. Yeah, that's a nice one. I liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Let's do another one of those on the other side, eh? Great question, thank you, Alan. So, given the thickness of the paint, does it ever crack as you move around, as you move the canvas when it's dried? No, Alan. And there's a very good reason for that. Fantastic question, by the way. Thank you for asking that. Uh, historically, an enamel paint, yes, would do that. I mean, you only have to tap it with a hammer, you know, on a garden gate, and you'll find that all the paint flakes off. But what we've done, and we spent about six months doing this many, many years ago, was develop a way for the paint to remain ever so slightly flexible which is one of the reasons why we can get it to bend around the, the frame so we can staple it on the back. And uh, even though the paint is fully cured, uh, there is a bond between the molecules that actually keeps those parts of the chains flexible. So it allows us to get a very, very small amount of give in the paints, even years later. So brilliant question. Thank you for asking that. But the answer is no, they don't crack. <laughs> but we've done our chemical engineering with it. Uh, over the years. Right, I'm going to do the same on the other side now, mate. Great stuff. Uh, so I'm going to probably, again, yeah, come around the black and just kind of see how, see if we can sort of, you know, interrupt what's going on over here. Definitely going to have to do the old knees job. Right, and just practice that. How far out am I coming? Where's it going to stop and end? Okay, let's see if we can. That's nice. Yeah, nice. Okay, oh, we got ourselves a painting, folks. It's all happening now, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what, from this way up, that's looking pretty good. Question now is, is how far are we off from it being what I would call done? Gloves need to be changed again. Let's give you guys a look on the Rome cam when Amy tells me because uh, we're okay to do that. Right, go for it, mate. So Insta, we're going to give you a quick look very, very shortly. Rome cam, now let's have a look what's going on. Let's look at it from, i tell you what, let's look at it from the long perspective. Let's go and join our friends of Instagram. That's what we're seeing here, folks. Big, big expression of paint. Absolutely loving it. But look how things are changing as we speak. Lots of paint on the floor. Let's see if we can go down first of all and have a look down at what's going on in the silver. And as we began to layer the paint all these interesting reactions are starting to happen look what's going on with the gold we've got that reaction we talked about earlier about that crazing pattern where the base coat vapors are trying to escape and i love it because it's just added some amazing textures to this already and these giant waves look almost like lightning strikes peppered through the paint wow that's incredible. And we've got selling. Let's just come back out. 
Well, let's go and have a look at the gold here because something unusual is going on here. Look at the way this is forming. Oh, it disappears almost into this. It's kind of like some archipelago, isn't it? Out in the southern oceans. Look at that as we go up to these massive swathes of the selling going on in the middle. Bear in mind, there is no selling compound in here. Oh, look what have I just found. How about that? That is pretty cool indeed. There's that gorgeous copper. Just trying to work out if I need some, some softer copper loops. I think I might do, actually. Might pop, sort of pop those through the black. The black's getting very final over here. Uh, but as we pan up now, some of these shapes are really, really starting to come into their own. Let's have a quick look around here. Let me give you a little look at what's going on. Look, it's almost like some kind of... Uh, DNA <laughs> like growing inside. Oh, I can't even got the words to describe it. This is crazy. Things are developing all the time. What's going on with the gold? It's just about got every other colour kind of nestled within it. Some amazing things starting to happen now. So it's not just about the big shapes, folks. Yeah. Even things that work on a giant scale when they come and get made inside the Suarez pod have infinite amounts of detail going on within them so we just wanted to show you that so you can actually see what we were talking about we get the gloves back on things are shaping up really nicely thank you henry uh buffet for the eye feast thank you matthew uh you're welcome alan thank you very much it can be says it's amazing thank you uh tamiko says ooh dale brilliant the chemicals for the paint are producing interesting developments they are dale to be honest, yes, yeah, that's why we love it. Absolutely why we love it. Let's just give you guys a quick look down here. Some very interesting things, as I did promise. Let's all just catch our breath for a minute. Look at that that's going on there. Mm, lots of things happening. Look, even within the silver, the silver itself is just going off. It just doesn't care. Crazy effects happening. And it's changing on a constant basis. Right, and so let's move you guys over there so you can see what's going on. Shaping up to be a bit of a classic at the moment. Uh, who's that? Oh, uh, Le Lemona Marie. Yes, that Le Hang on. Donna. Oh, Donna. Hello from South Carolina. Uh, <laughs> over on Instagram. Great to see you here. Uh, right, which one did you say, buddy? You're on over. Call now. Okay. Right, so I'll let me figure out because we're not far off. I think I've got to add some some gentler coppers here because actually what we've done uh look at what we've done with those gentle loops so we're going to probably go to onto the shot glasses i think that's looking awesome but tell me folks are you loving this i hope you are please hey look let's have some thumbs up because there's tons of you watching now so whatever device you're on if it's mobile phone tablet if it's a pc laptop or even your yeah, big giant tv then please do give us a nice big thumbs up it's probably somewhere underneath that full screen window you're watching on right now that would be amazing because it tells everybody that you're enjoying it and it might just come up on somebody else's timeline who's never seen anything as awesome and epic as this before and of course also if you are new here and it's great to welcome all our new visitors to the channel and to the live stream and if it's the first time you've seen it how amazing is this please do give us a nice big subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure you click on your bell icon and that way you'll always get notified when this kind of thing is happening live. Uh, so that's brilliant. And we've also got the opportunity to welcome our patrons here. Lots of you watching again this evening. Our patrons get exclusive access to all the latest content way before anybody else does. And it's a pleasure to bring that on a regular basis to those people that support us. You can do the exact same thing by clicking on the Patreon link. We're going to pop that into the comments very, very shortly. And if you're watching this on Catch Up, you can also find that information down in the description. Now, the other great thing, unless exclusivity isn't enough for you already, you can also be the owner of one of a set of 102 unique Suarez painted tiles. It's only ever been going to be done once. And we would love to be able to give you one of those to find out how you can claim yours. You can head over to patreon.com forward slash Suarez Art and find out exactly how you can get yours. They are amazing. They'll never be repeated. Rapidly going out. And if you would like to get your hands on one, you know exactly where to go. Right, folks. 
Let's get back to the action. I think we've got some small swoops of black to put on. All right. Okay. I think, 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 think. Where did the tin of black go? Did I put it back on the shelf? I'm probably staring at it right now. You're probably all telling me, no, Ed, it's there. Why can't I find Where was that? Okay. Weird. I didn't chuck it in the bin because it wasn't empty. Where have I just put a giant two and a half litre tin of black then? I couldn't put it back on. Have I? I haven't put it back on the shelf. I must have done. Uh, time for our very cool piece love the flow ad not a fan of this music thought my hearing was going now and that the eyes are improving <laughs> oh. <clears throat> we've uh, we've always got lots of lots of things we're always working on with the live stream so we'll uh, we'll queue up uh, uh, another uh, a different wave of music at some point in the future so uh, yeah all, always take that on board no problem uh right okay so uh, I think I'm going to do a couple more of these black loops and maybe we finish off with a little bit of copper. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, folks. Let's see. Let's see how well I can do that because the copper is going to be quite difficult to implement. In fact, no, I've changed my mind. Changed my mind. We're just going to go in with the copper. Let's leave the black alone. We're getting ourselves another shot glass out. Gold or copper. Gold or copper? Copper. Need to keep the shapes. Right, okay. Into the shop glass we go. Oh, come on, copper. Come on, anytime you're ready. There we go. This could take a while to come out. Right, okay. Which camera are we on, mate? Fabulous. Okay, let's see then if we can. We're going to try and draw some copper through that black. I don't know how. How successful I'm going to be because I'm struggling to get into where I need to get into but we'll see if I can kind of you know do something over here let's have a go anyway that's all we can do yep yeah, that'll do like it like it ah time for art's gotta go well thank you very much for being here <laughs> great to see you go rest your eyes Thank you. We'll see you next time. Right, I'm going to switch around to the other side. Right, are you still on PTZ, mate? Okay, I'll walk around the other side then. Ah, thank you, Lynn. In the Eye of the Beholder, another great title. Spoiled for choice for uh, for titles tonight. Right, okay, so we're going to try and replicate that. Just some gentle sweeps of the copper. And there it goes. It's fine. Happy with that. Yeah, see, look, so it's, it's nice and simple and dramatic through the centre, and then we've kind of built up the intrigue uh, as we go. Oh, oh shh. Uh oh. Well. Uh, okay. No, uh, right. Okay. One second. Oh, it's covered in paint. I can. Just give me a second. My mask filter has come off, everybody. Well, Zane, looking good. Loves a copper. Sandy, miss live stream better late than never. Hi, Sandy. Lovely to see you here. Oh, Henry, now we're timeless. <laughs> very good, very good. Right, I'm going to have to take this off. So I don't think I can clip that back on. Or can I? Oh, oh I might be able to. I've got it. It's the wrong stupid way, isn't it? Stupid boy. Got it. Yeah, we're good, mate. We're good. Sound. Okay, right. Nearly there, folks. Nearly there. Last pair of gloves, I reckon. Whew.
Okay, so now we're on the all camera shot. Just got to decide. I'm going to take myself just a moment now, just to stand, assess, see where we're at. Oh, sorry about the pause there on Insta. We just went into low power mode on the camera. <laughs> Apologies. We've got a huge amount of charge in it today. Uh, right. Okay. So M Spooky Art, hello, and Susie Artie and Teddy, Feddy, is that Teddy or Feddy Bubble? Can't quite see. Thank you guys for being here. Well, let's just figure out, have I got to the place where I need to call this now? Well, I don't think we're far off. I wanted to have fun with monochromes. It's exactly what I've done this evening. Yeah, I mean, we can do all kinds of stuff with these, but I haven't done anything as dramatic as this for quite some time, and I love it. I don't think I want to put any special sauce on. I don't think I want to put any thinners on. This is all just about the paint. So I think now, uh, Andy's going to queue up V12, which is a painting that I was kind of inspired by, which is a you're going to see hopefully on the screen any second now. And there we go. That is V12. Uh, it was 22 and a half or 23 feet long, that one, which now resides in Emirate Hills uh, in Dubai. Uh, for one very lucky client. And I uh, had a great fun doing that. We kind of filled this entire... I mean, it's, it's, it's probably another 20, 30% bigger than this. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of great. There you go. The, uh, fantastic. So yeah, quite, quite an interesting one, that one. So uh, with the opposing sort of splashes, yeah, the readers are on about having some cheeky black splashes. I, I'm, I'm tempted with that, but actually I'm also tempted to do, just to finish off with a couple of tiny little gold splashes, if I'm honest. Or maybe just one. So I'm mixing this in with a little drop of white. It's going to make like a champagne effect. I've just got to think now, where am I going to go with this? And I'm just tempted to just do a quick one through the centre, this champagne gold, right as an arc. I, I don't know. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I'll tell you what, let's just... Let's just pick it up from here. A little one through there. Let's do on the other side, mate. I'm going to come the other side. So you tell me when you're ready. Oh, we've got a frozen computer screen out in control. Right, we're on back on overhead. Excellent. Normal service resumed. There we go. Just pop a little few bits through there. Actually, that's not too bad, is it? Quite like that. Just this tiny little addition. That's just woken the black up. So that's just got me thinking. So I'm going to go back around the other side now, buddy. So we might have to go back onto PTZ, sorry. And these are these little, these little bits that just shout at you to say, oh no, oh. Do it, do it. Right, and I'm back now. You have to go back to my head, sorry. <laughs> do that on the other side. Right, okay. That I'm pretty happy with. Thank you, everybody on Insta asking to be in the uh, part of the video. I would do, but uh, it shrinks the size of my screen when uh, I, I complete that request, which I can't actually see what's going on. <laughs> so, ah, well, somebody's just rumbled me, Lynn Sutherland. <laughs> Very good. Where's the tiny dots of copper? Well, interestingly, as I said to my colleague just before we went on air, we're going to do that with gold this week, rather than the copper. So we're going regal. Yes, I'm afraid it's time. <laughs> I haven't quite got to that bit yet, because I was going to give you... Oh, but there's one other thing I want to do. And Lynn, you've second-guessed it. You're too good. Well done, you. Good job. I haven't better drop this, have I? Yeah, so we're going to spray some of this mirror effect gold into the lid, which I'll do over by the extractor in about 30 seconds. I'm going to drop a load of that all over it. It's going to look amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, we've done the same with the chrome, the mirror chrome, on a few paintings over the last sort of couple of months. I've never, ever used the gold. It's a fresh can. But tonight, just tonight, we're going to do the gold and we're going to pepper that all the way along the black. How incredible is that going to look? Right. Well, that's good. That's a good start. I can't believe you guessed that, Lynn. Can't keep anything a secret. <laughs> right, we're going to go to the extractor now. You got me. Oh, I don't you just love that camera? It's awesome, isn't it? Right, here we go. Let's yeah, move. Yeah. Let... Don't, don't you be spraying the spinomatic. Oh, no, I've just moved it out of the way. That's all right, then. 
Yeah. Thank you. Right, so this, ooh, that's quite interesting. That's a very, yeah, it doesn't look gold, it looks more copper. Mm, copper. Right, so this is going to be quite cool. Wait till I show you this on the camera. Hello V, great to see you. Thank you for coming along. Right, okay, got to be fairly quick here. Oh yeah, because it seems to be leaking. Right, here we go, here we go. Uh, hmm. Oh gosh, I love that. That is nice. Oh yes. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Right. Let's see if we can get you some shots of that, shall we? I'm not gonna put any more on. Yeah, that will do. That's looking good. And I think we'll leave it at the gold. I think the chrome might re might destroy that. What do we reckon to that then, eh? Let's see if we can get you some nice shots of what that's just done. Going all the way through the black, I'd imagine. As I turn around, that's going to look pretty nice. What do we think? Oh, that looks lovely. Right, I need to uh, get my gloves off again. Let's have a quick look on Rome Cam. Yes, Denise, I am fearless. <laughs> right, Rome Cam Insta. We'll do that in just a sec for you guys. Right. So, from afar, look. Look what we just did. We sprinkled a constellation of awesomeness. Right across from one side to the other. Let's get down. Have a look at that. Now we sprinkle this. Look at that. Look. I mean, yes, at the shape. You've got dots. You've got tiny ones. You've got sprinkles. It looks like people, amoebas, stars, planets. Good. Oh, it's just mind blowing. Look at as well what's happening to that selling in the center. And that's expanding as we've been talking. Amazing. Streak of white just going through the center. Look at what it's doing. Um, we're building up that kind of lightning streak. Oh, that's a cheeky coppery thing moving through there. Look. <laughs> and then as we move down, look, we've got that little smattering of that gold, that metallic gold we've just put in. It's going right across. Can you see how textured the gold is there? That's the Queen's gold. It, does, it looks like gold leaf, doesn't it? Let's go round to the other side. Now, here's where I started with that pool. Look, there are some giant, these are reflective. These are going to be amazing. Look, there's some giant ones over here. There's the crazing look we were talking about earlier. And how subtle some of these movements really are. A lot of them have kept their shape, especially through the centre. Look, we've got these very strong lines. This is the use of the semi-gloss paint. Just taking a gentle wander over the surface here. And again, we're bombarded by the brilliance of that textured gold coming through. Remember, we got that as a reaction from the base coat underneath. Happy days. And then look, we've got some kind of mega constellation going on in the silver. It's really kind of done its own thing. Things are developing everywhere, folks. Absolutely loving it. We've got intersections and pathways. We've got Big gestures, small gestures, big splashes, small splashes, all going on. And we've basically done that in just a few colours. That's, that's pretty cool. I'm loving that. Imagine a double height entry stairwell or something like that. Well, be pretty awesome, don't you? Instagram, let's give you guys a quick look. Wow. Andy gives us a final look at that. I'm going to call that and say that that is done because it's looking great. I'm really happy with it. I've had fun this evening. I've wanted to do a, a crazy monochrome, just something with lots of big gestures and loops and splashes for ages. I haven't done anything like this for quite a while. Thanks, Clem09. That's very nice. Uh, Alexej Admatis uh, joined us. Thank you very much. So lots of textures going on on the gold. If you've been hearing the commentary, and we get into all these complex neural pathways and then boom we get that splash of black across both planes right through the middle you can even see now look where we started in the uh, at, well, at the start i had these two opposing um black gestures but look how they morphed in the middle can you see that 
If you haven't watched from the middle, you, from the start, you wouldn't know. But actually, we, we've morphed them together. That's how the paint has moved. So it looks like it's one continuous piece of, of black paint, which of course it isn't. Pretty cool, is that? I'm, uh, I'm taking that. I love it. Absolutely love, love, love that. That's going to be expensive when it winds up on the website. <laughs> oh dear. Nancy says perfect. Lynn says it's a good one. Marva Giloso says Chris. Cracking copper. Thank you very much, Henry. Oh, crackling copper. Uh, agreeing with the Rita. Having fun is important. It is Rita. Yes. Gorgeous says Jackie. Well, thank you very much, folks. I really hope you're. Uh, You've enjoyed that. I think, I, well, I've definitely had some fun this evening. You know, it's amazing what you can do with what is essentially four colours. But that's what we've done this evening. I'm pretty sure I could do that every day of the week and be extremely uh, happy with myself with just having some fun. Anyway, that's it for tonight, folks. That is the live stream done. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe, send this to your friends, recommend as many people as you can. Help us get to that 100,000 subscriber mark. Just don't forget we're going to be giving a ton of stuff away, no doubt. Talking of stuff, of course, why don't you go and treat yourself to a little browse around a lifestyle store. My colleague will pop that up on the screen for you now. There's over 250 exclusive Suarez products on there from trainers and sneakers new jigsaws and pillows and mugs and uh, gym wear and bags oh my goodness the bags are amazing from clutch bags to duffel bags gym bags weekend bags we got all kinds of stuff there over 250 products go treat yourself if you haven't got space to put one of these bad boys on your wall then you can go and enjoy a little bit of suarez magic every day with a visit to the lifestyle store we'll pop a link that over into the comments in just a moment or two and don't forget there's also one down in the description so if you're watching this on catch up a little bit later on than when we filmed it you can go and have a look and uh, fill up your basket to your heart's content global shipping keen prices but the quality of the stuff is absolutely superb because we wouldn't put our name to anything less well that's it folks i hope you've enjoyed the stream this evening we're going to be back doing this again next week so seven days from now set a reminder on your phone to watch timer, bit, bit, and whatever it else you use to remind yourself of the important things in life. We hope you can join us then. It's been a pleasure to have you here from Aidy and myself. It's a very good evening to all of you. Be safe, well, and healthy. We'll see you again in a week from now. That's it from us, folks. Have a very good evening and good night.